Good morning. We have already learned that induced EMF due to Faraday's law is classified into statically induced EMF and dynamically induced EMF. And statically induced EMF is caused when the conductor is stationary and the magnetic field is varying. As such, statically induced EMF are classified into two types. First one is self-induced EMF and mutually induced EMF. Let's go through self-induced EMF. Self-induced EMF is induced in a coil due to change of its own flux. It is induced in a coil. EMF induced in a coil due to change of its own flux due to change of its own flux linked with it. That is induced M of its in a coil due to change of its own flux, change in its own flux linking with it. That is self-induced M of is caused in a conductor due to the change of its own flux linking with the coil. Let's consider a simple conductor carrying current and is connected to a voltage source V. It is a variable connected to a variable rheostat so that we can vary the current and it is wound over an iron ring. Let the current I flow through the conductor. In such a condition, we know that if the current in the conductor changes, the flux linking with the coil also changes. And then according to Fanny's current is changed by varying the rheostat, the flux linking with the coil also changes. Hence an EM of E is induced in the coil according to Faraday's law and it is given by E is equal to minus N into D5 by DT where minus N represent the lenses law. And this EM of E is known as induced EM of or self-induced EM of. And this property of the coil to induce an EMF back into the coil itself is known as inductance. And the function of the inductance is to oppose the change in current. It is due to Lenz's law. Here, the EMF is induced in the conductor due to the change in current flowing through the coil. That is, the, when the current flowing through the conductor changes, the flux linking with the conductor itself changes and EMF is induced according to Faraday's law. And this induced EMF is Lenz's law. This induced, sorry, this induced EMF is known as self-induced EMF. The direction of this self-induced EMF is in such a direction so as to oppose the cause which producing it. That is E is equal to minus N into D5 by DT which is given by Lenz's law as we have already learned. And this EMF induced in the coil itself due to varying current in the conductor itself is known as self-induced EMF. Thus, and as a result of that Lenz's law, the self-induced EMF opposes the cause which producing it. Opposes with cause which producing it. That is, it opposes the change in current change in current self-induced EMF is caused here as a result of this change in current which leads to change in flux linkages with the coil. This EMF is known as self-induced EMF and this property of the coil to oppose the change in current is known as self-inductance and this property this property is known as known as self-inductance or simply inductance L that you have already learned. Therefore, inductance is the property of a coil to oppose the change in current flowing through the coil. It is as a result of this Lenz's law. This is